the Joe Rogan experience with you anymore someone that you deeply loved and cared about like you want them to suffer it's weird it's weird i mean it's normal so i guess it's not that weird but the the evil vicious jealousy you know like you see that vicious jealousy in chimpanzees like one of the things that chimpanzees do when they attack people one of the things they attack people over is unfairness like uh, there was a terrible story about a guy who had kept a pet chimp and then brought the uh, chimp a birthday cake on his birthday. Brian Posehn has a whole bit about it. Do you? Does it? Does he yeah, really? Yeah. Um, and the other chimps found out that this chimp was getting a birthday cake, and they saw it, and they weren't getting any cake, and they were fucking furious. So someone had inadvertently left one of the gates open, so the chimps got out and tore this guy apart because of a birthday cake. But it's that thing. It's not like it was affecting them. It's like he was doing something bad to them, so they got out and killed him. Oof. No, they ripped his dick off because they didn't like the fact they gave the other champ a birthday cake. Took his dick, took his fingers. Took his feet. They, yeah. 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 Posehn's bit's so funny. He's like, the, the worst thing about that story for that guy is that everyone's going to want to hear it forever. Because mm -hmm. it starts with, so I was bringing a birthday cake to a chimpanzee. <laughs> and then, and like, you, you got to hear the rest. <sighs> The, but that that anger and jealousy like there's evolution there's an evolutionary basis for it oh is that what he looks like now yeah oh my god i'm not look. gonna show it it's tough his so. fingers are missing his face is missing he's got one eye his nose is gone oh look at that frown it's oh that my god frown. well his face was ripped apart he probably stitched it together that way awful yeah it's fucking awful man yeah, you can't own a chimp, you crazy assholes. They're the most vicious of all the primates next to people. Aren't they good for like, you can put like train them for like the first like five years of their life and then they forget mm. everything. They just decide they're going to fuck you up. Yeah. And they're so strong. What is that one doing? Is that the chimp? No, no, but it just popped up in the same group of pictures. It's Jesus. Hairless chimp. Looks so, they're mad. so mean. Such a It's such a mean species. You know, there's a, a problem with colobus monkeys in uh, parts of uh, Africa where chimps live because they've eaten so many colobus monkeys that their their population's down 97%. Yeah. They rip them apart and eat them a lot while they're alive. Are they tiny colobus monkeys? No, they're not big. No. Big enough to eat. <laughs> but uh, this is a David Attenborough documentary from the 90s where they first discovered that chimps eat monkeys. They really didn't know. They thought the chimps were basically herbivores. And then they got this video footage of them hunting these monkeys and the way they would corral them uh, and beat them through the trees and then catch them. And this monkey screaming while this chimp is ripping it apart from the hips, like just chewing it and pulling it apart from the, and he's like, ah! and he's like basically ripping his legs and his ass end off and just eating it alive. God damn. They're fucking mean, man. They're fucking mean. It's a mean animal. But the, the, what, the, I get the fact that, look, everything's mean in the jungle. There's big cats and poisonous snakes and spiders, and it's just a hard, hard, hard world. But the thing that, drives, that gets me is the jealousy, because I don't think other animals experience jealousy the way chimps do. Like this, is that it right there? Oh, from the Attenborough it's the documentary. the end of the clip where they actually caught it. Like yeah, skip ahead, so that's but. a monkey in his hand. Oof. Jesus. Yeah, dude, the videos of it, killing it while they're pulling it apart like whoa but the that jealousy that i want you to suffer i didn't get that fucking cake oh you don't let me have that cake i can't get any cake i'm gonna pull your fucking dick off i'm gonna bite your nose off like that that is a that's a strange trait for an animal to have oh yeah you no know? i mean i think it's a, t a terrible trait for a human being to have oh yeah you know? well, we are uh, animals yeah yeah it's something uh you got to work on but when it comes to divorce like that's that same thing it's like that same i want you to fucking suffer i want to pull your dick off and that's why you know people hire hitmen and shit to kill their ex-wives and kill their ex-husbands well yeah <laughs> people don't get less crazy as they age no no yeah. No, 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 no. A lot of times they get more because then they realize it's almost over. Mm -hmm. The ride's over, and uh, now, you know, you're a 65 year old lady, no one wants to fuck you. And you're a 65 year old man, no one wants to fuck you either. And now all of a sudden, you guys are battling, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. B battling over finances and this and that. <laughs>